Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the best edition of RLCS Overtime. That's right, the show that's hosted by Axel Toss. Very happy to be here and excited as we continue the show with a one on one with a player from the competitive scene, none other than Halcyon from Hollywood Hammers. Uh, he goes by Halcyon as a handle, but his real name is Eric Rios. Eric, welcome to RLCS Overtime. Thanks for talking to me, man. Of course, thank you for having me. So to start things off here, let's go ahead and uh, intro you to our audience. So why don't you go ahead and uh, tell people, if, if they haven't heard of you, don't know who you are, although they probably should, uh, give us a, a brief history of your time in Rocket League and uh, talk a little bit about your team and uh, where you are in the whole Rocket League competitive space. So I started off on PS4. Um, I downloaded Rocket League when it was free to download, and I just started playing with my high school friends, my cousins. And uh, eventually I started getting a little bit better than them, so I started moving on to the competitive scene, playing in some Take the Shot tournaments back in the day on PS4. Um, I switched to PC back in December of last year, and we actually qualified for RLCS in Season 3. Um, we made a lot of noise because we actually beat Iris at the time, and uh, we sent them to the loser's bracket. We ended up qualifying. Uh, RLCS Season 3 didn't go too well for us, but, I mean, it was a great experience. And then Season 4, we ended up making RLRS, placed third, and now we're looking to get that top two next season. That's awesome. And, and let's go back to, to RLCS Season 3. Can you talk about the team you had um, during that, that, that stature and, and, and what you kind of learned from that season that you're carrying with you as you uh, continue to compete in RLRS and hopefully, I suppose, RLCS? So in season three, it was Lemon Puppy, Memory, and myself. Um, we had a very defensive play style. We just kind of sat back, let everyone do whatever they wanted to us. And um, we kind of, after the, after the whole season, we, we realized that this new meta, we got to be more aggressive. We can't just be sitting on defense the entire time. So we try to, we try to be a little bit faster to the ball, a little bit more offensive. And uh, it's been working out recently. Yeah, so you guys had really good results, honestly, in RLRS, especially how competitive that ended up being close to the end, uh, where we had Lachino's team and then, of course, uh, Fibian do as well as they did, advancing to the uh, promotion tournament. Um, you guys got third. Can you talk about that experience of RLRS and talk about the other teams that you guys were going up against and how it felt being in that competitive environment? Okay, so it was, we definitely won a top two. Um, we had a, a lot of expectations. A lot of people expected us to be top two as well so it was really disappointing um the teams in rlrs were insane uh, i don't think people gave them enough credit for how good they actually are uh, it was it was great it was fun it was a fun experience it was a learning experience because now we have our chance again we we still stayed in rlrs so we still have our chance this season to to prove ourselves and to get that top two spot and now we are more or less in the off season of RLCS and RLRS, where we just had our world championship. Everyone's kind of calming down a little bit and everyone's ramping up for the next season. Uh, now for you, you have that spot in RLRS. I understand that there's been a few team changes for you, or at least one, uh, one roster move. Can you talk about that roster move and how your team is changing and what you guys are talking about uh, as we are in the off season and what you're kind of setting up for, uh, for you and your team going into next season of RLRS? So in the off season, we decided to pick up Vince as a third and Lemon Puppy moved down to the sub spot. Uh, we feel really good with Vince. He's a great player. I feel like he just brings this consistency and like he just helps us push, push to the next level, honestly. Um, we're super confident with this roster and uh, we're just gonna keep working and grinding. Now you, as, as of right now, if my math is correct, uh, you are one of four teams that automatically have a spot in RLRS. You're gonna be awaiting on open bracket results. There's a lot of teams trying to get into uh, the top eight and, and compete with you guys. Uh, but you're playing against three teams with, that start with the letter A, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, Applesauce, Allegiance, and Ambition, if I'm not wrong. Um, let, let's talk about that a little bit. You know three of the eight teams that you're gonna be competing with. You got third uh, in the last season of RLRS. You want top two. Everyone in RLRS wants top two. So um, how do you consider your chances? And give me some thoughts on these other teams that you know you're going to be going up against. Uh, Applesauce, that used to be Fibian, uh, Allegiance, and Ambition. So I still think it's it's pretty early in the offseason. I think there's going to be some more roster moves that people aren't really expecting. Um, no matter what happens, though, we're just going to focus on ourselves, focus on getting better. Um, all three of those teams are great teams. They're all they're all RLCS caliber teams in my opinion and could all potentially make it in next season, but we're just going to focus on ourselves and, and try to try to get there. 
And, and speaking of, of uh, talking more about your team specifically, um, Halcyon, Vince, Memory. That, that's the starting roster you guys have with Lemon Puppy on the bench. Can you talk about the dynamic of your team, uh, the different roles you guys take, and maybe what communication is like uh, on your team? So g g give me some more info about your team and your play style. So we kind of just let Memory go and do his thing. Memory is insane. That kid has some of the best mechanics I've ever seen. Um, Vince, he's also ridiculous on offense. Like, I kind of just watch, sit back and watch them do their thing. It's it's pretty entertaining, but I try to just feel like fill that third spot where I just let them do their thing. I kind of stay back, kind of uh, passive a little bit more, but I feel like it works out great. All right, I know a lot of people are going to be looking forward to seeing how you guys do in the upcoming RLRS. Um, you guys want top two again, you know, top two from RLRS. You get to play in those. Uh, promotion matches to hopefully get into RLCS. Now, let's talk about RLCS a little bit, and uh, I guess the tip top of the pro scene. We've had a lot of tournaments lately, um, E-League going on, the World Championships just concluded. Can you give me some of your thoughts on the North American scene in RLCS? Of course, you're gunning for those spots uh, to try to be in RLCS. Can you talk to me about maybe G2, Cloud9, these other top North American teams, and which teams you really like watching and maybe you might look up to? So I definitely look up to Cloud9, Energy, G2. Those guys, they've, they're they consistent. They've always been at the top. They're extremely good. Um, I think the NA scene is growing a lot, and it's getting a lot better. It's really cool to see also because it was always EU dominating NA. Everyone was always talking trash and Twitch chat about it. But NA is finally starting to catch up, I think. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how, how much better everyone gets. Yeah, and of course, G2 winning uh, at E-League recently. Can you give me some thoughts on, on the E-League tournament that happened, especially how G2 fared? Uh, I think it's the second big tournament in a row where we saw G2 and Cloud9 both break into the top four, which to me is, is pretty fascinating in of itself when we talk about the European versus North American, team, uh, North American scene. Uh, how does that make you feel, seeing G2 and Cloud9 succeed, and especially G2 being at the very top? It's awesome, honestly. Like I, I love watching those games. Um, G2, I, I love those guys. Like they're they've been together for so long. They put up with so much. They got they get a lot of uh, nitpicking going at them and the players, but they they stuck it out and they're getting they've been improving a lot recently. But uh, yeah, that finals of the E League was crazy. I was sitting here, I was screaming, I was I was so hyped. It was awesome. I was too. That was, that was a crazy final. G2, uh, spoiler alert, winning in seven games to take the E League uh, Cup for Rocket League, the first time E League's doing Rocket League, which is pretty cool. Um, but you know, we know you're going for top two in RLRS. Talking a little bit more about RLCS here, as far as what are your predictions and expectations for the RLCS this next season? Um, you, you know, you're not quite there yet. Where obviously your team again is trying to get in, but how do you expect both regions to kind of shake out? I don't expect you to give me like one through eight, but uh, overall, what teams do you think are going to succeed on the North American side and the European side in the next season of RLCS? So I think the top three are going to probably stay the same. Uh, Cloud9, G2, Energy, uh, probably even Ghost. Ghost is proving themselves to be pretty consistent as well. Um, the bottom four, I have no idea. Um, honestly, I feel like if we're going to keep grinding and working, we're, we'll be good enough to take on any team in the bottom four of RLCS when it comes to that point, if we do make top two. Uh, EU, I don't really follow it as much, um, so honestly, I have no idea. I mean, I feel like that's that's the right answer anyway, because Europe is just, they're so close all the time. It's impossible uh, to know what to expect. Um, we're getting near the end of the interview here, but I want to ask about where you are right now. I understand you're in the Hollywood Hammers house, which is very unique, I think, in eSports, e and particularly in Rocket League, where you guys have actually a pro house environment where you're able to play together with your teammates. Can you talk about that a little bit, the dynamic, and how that's helpful for your team? Yeah, so I live at the Hollywood Hammers house with Vince. Um, he's been here longer than I have, but when I moved in, he wasn't actually on our roster yet. He was just uh, on their streaming team. And uh, I'm really good friends with Vince, so obviously uh, moving here was awesome because I got to hang out with him, talk to him more, and we play all the time. We, sometimes he'll just have, hit me up to play some twos or whatnot, but it's really cool because we can, we can just play Rocky League. We don't have to worry about anything else and just uh, work on getting better. That's awesome, and I see the skateboard in the background. I'm terrible <laughs> on boards. I'm tall. I don't have a good center of gravity, balance. I can't do it. Uh, but do you guys, what other hobbies do you guys, you guys go out and play soccer after playing Rocket League, or talk to me about uh, any hobbies or anything you guys do outside of actually playing Rocket League? Um, we'll do, usually we just hang out. We'll go to the mall, walk around, go shopping, uh, watch movies together, just stuff like that. That's awesome. Well, that, that's really cool that you're, you're, you're sticking to that environment, and I wish you guys the best of luck in the upcoming season of RLRS. Before we let you go, though, 
I want to give you the floor. Any shout outs, anything you want to say, plug your Twitter. Uh, the floor is yours, man. All right. Well, follow me on Twitter at ByHalcyon. Um, shout out to Angie. Shout out to Ferrix. And shout out to everybody in Sham's Discord. All right, Eric Rios, a.k.a. Halcyon on the Hollywood Hammers. Look out for him and his team in RLRS, where they are looking for top two so they can eventually get into RLCS. Eric, thanks for talking to me, man. Thank you for having me. All right, that's Halcyon once again from Hollywood Hammers. Awesome to have him on the show. RLCS Overtime is going to continue. Next up, we got like-dislike coming up before we close out the show. Stay tuned.